Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating a blogger theme from scratch and we have already completed the design of the website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now we are converting the code to a blogger theme. In the previous video, I showed you how to create an alternate header for your blogger theme which will be shown on all the pages except the home page of our website. So this is the alternate header. Now in this video, I'll show you how to create a contact form on the home page of our blogger theme. In our design, we have the contact page just before the footer of our home page. And we already have a widget in blogger for the contact form. And we'll be using the widget and we'll also make some customization in that. So let's get started. Alright, this is the theme code of our blogger theme. Let's go just before the footer. So this is the footer and uh, let's add the contact form right here. For this also we need to have an if condition because the contact form should only be displayed on the home page. So let's copy the if condition from here and uh, we'll paste it over here and we'll change this to equals equals and we'll close the if condition right here. And we'll also add a comment and we'll tap end of the contact section. All right, in blogger you also have a widget for the contact form. So let's add that over here. We'll type B section. We'll give it an ID of B section contact. And we'll also give it a class of contact container. And we'll close the section right here. Now we are also adding a class for the B section because uh, we have already created some styles in our code. So if you go to the style.css, here we can see for the contact a section, we have a container division which has a class of contact container. So we can use these styles in our uh, theme. So that's why we added even a class of contact container. All right, in the section, we will add the widget. So we'll type B widget of type contact form and we'll give it an ID of contact form one. Right, so now let's save this and uh, let's refresh our page. And we can see in the home page we have the contact form. Let's go to the search page. And here we don't have the contact form. So now let's style this. Let's go over to our code and uh, let's copy these stylings from here and we'll make some changes in our theme. So let's copy this and uh, let's refresh this so that we can see the whole code. And uh, let's add the CSS. So we'll go just before the footer and uh, here we will add the CSS. Now if you go to our original HTML, we can see that this is the contact form and it is inside the wrapper division. So we scroll up. Here we can see this is the wrapper division and it starts from here and ends after the contact section right here. So we have to include the contact form widget inside a wrapper division. For now, let's save this and uh, see how it looks. All right, now let's enclose this contact form inside a wrapper division. So let's go to our code and inside the if condition, we'll create a division and we'll give it a class of wrapper and we'll close this division after the section. So here let's close the division and let's save this. And now we can see that we have the correct width for the contact form. All right, now we have to remove these labels from the contact form. We will add placeholders in place of this. So let's go back to the code and uh, this is the label. And let's also remove this paragraph. So we'll remove the paragraph, the label and the BR. We'll do the same with all the other labels. And let's add placeholders over here. So for the first input field, we'll have a placeholder of full name. For the second one, we have a placeholder of email. And for the third one, we will have a placeholder of your message. And now we can see we have the placeholders and we also don't have 
the labels let's change the contact form text to contact us so here we have this title called contact form let's change this to contact us now let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's see what are the changes we need to make all right for the contact form widget we should have a maximum width of 100 percent right now the maximum width is set to 250 pixels let's change this to 100 percent and now we can see it has the full width so let's copy this selector and we'll paste it in the CSS let's paste it over here and we'll set the maximum width to 100% let's save this and uh, let's see what else we need to change now we have the 100% width for the contact form widget now we want to have the 100% width for all the inputs as well now even for the inputs we have this maximum width of 220 pixels and uh, we have set a padding of 8 pixels and 24 pixels we can increase the padding a little bit so we can set the padding to 16 pixels and 24 pixels we'll make these two changes so let's copy this selector and we'll paste it in place of this selector and uh, let's set a maximum width of 100 percent and we'll set the padding to 16 pixels and 24 pixels let's save this and now it looks all right let's also add a border of gray color so here we'll type border one pixel solid and uh, we'll set the color to 989898 we have already added the css for uh, this button but it is not being applied because uh, the selectors are not correct so right click over here and click on inspect now for this we have this class called contact form button submit so let's copy this and uh, paste it over here in place of the current selector and uh, let's save it and uh, let's see and we have to make some minor changes so right click over here inspect let's add a height and uh, let's increase it to 42 pixels and we'll also set the color of the text to black all right it's not being applied over here let's copy these two lines of code and uh, let's paste it over here and uh, let's save and see whether it works all right and it works all right now let's also style the hover state so for the hover we will have a lighter color of this uh, background so let's select this and uh, let's select a lighter background or maybe a different color or right, we will add this color you can go ahead and uh, choose the color you want all right let's copy this and uh, we'll create a hover state for this so let's copy this and uh, here we'll type colon hover and we'll also set the color to black and let's save it and we can see the hover effect is working all right now the last thing we need to style is this header so if you go to the original design we can see for the header we have this design so let's right click over here and uh, let's see what is the selector and uh, inside the widget class we have this h2 so let's target that and we already have added some styles in our code so let's go to the source code let's go to style and uh, at the top we have added some styles for the h2 these are the styles so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here and uh, here we'll type dot widget space h2 and even here we'll type dot widget space h2 let's save this and let's reload this page and there we go we have styled our contact section completely
So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.